plant. That kind of have lasted from the house compost all the way then into here. Morning everyone, how is everyone? Can you see, can you see, can you see that? Did anybody watch the tomato video yesterday? I nearly cut my finger off bloody sniffing the bottom branches. Watch the video, it looks so professional, very well done. Reality was there was blood everywhere. I was nearly physically sick with the sight of it. Chopped my bloody finger off nearly. Anyway, welcome today. Let's see what's going on today. I'll tell you what's going on. Are, are they here? Are they here? We're going to try and go in, maybe one take, maybe not, you know what I mean? We'll go, go for a slightly, you know, run of the mill kind of all in one go. Remember when I went to my mum's? Let's get back in the context. Let's just slow it down to it. I'm all excited to come up because we're going out for a little drink this afternoon, you see. Went to my mum's the other day. Remember, anyone remember that? And Wylam Nursery is a lovely nursery. Oh man, they're so nice as well. Well, I had to go down there for my mum to get a pot. So our pots are already potted up and we just kind of picked them up. But while I was there, they have a load of veg, just a massive polytunnel veg. So I picked up some more celeriac and I picked up some more like climbing beans. And I'll tell you why I didn't know at the time, but climbing beans look at this see all my seeds i'm planting sorry sown all looking good the wing bean and the other bu blue bull hide <laughs> not a one not a one everything else is kind of coming up but i'm not even the, the clarets that are f1 and I planted so on the 14th, these sprouting broccolis away. But I don't know what. Now that was, I'm sure, the potato compost with a little bit of blood fish and bone. So that ain't worked. So it just so happens that I'm chuffed to bits that I've actually got some climb beams. But the point is now, because the idea is when I picked them up, I was going to build another height thing. And... I can't be bothered if I'm if I'm honest. So I'm just gonna have to put them somewhere, and I might just put them so they run along the back of the tomatoes and the onions. You know, they just crawl crawl up there. That's what. Hey, we've been having strawberries and cream. Absolutely lovely. Has something been in there? Was that me? Was that me messing on with it? There's there's another whole load of strawberries to pick. So first off, I know it's a nettle still there, I'm not going anywhere near it. I'm going to put in the what you call it here. They're not going to come them parsnips now and I'm not bothered to be honest now. So them, I'm going to put in the celeriac there, give them a good water. So I'm not sure how many, I think there's eight but there might be two in a a tub and to be honest they look way better they look way better than mine and funny enough the two that are kind of in that reasonable size are the ones that are left in the containers that I didn't plant out so quick so maybe there's a lesson for your tone and all them onions there are just spring onions that's what I just if you remember I got them bags for 50 pence a shot they're all just spring onions that's what I'm using them for, along with them ones. That was another bag of leftover sets. So, first off, we will get, because yeah, the knees, the knees. Don't let us forget, I'll put me, well actually I kind of got my phone there. I'll leave my phone up. We have some carrot seedlings coming as well. Aye, I'll give them another water. Oh, that still looks dry, mind you. Right, get these two. You know, I only started, was it last year, the year before? Maybe two year, at the very most that I've celeriac. And it was, it's lovely, absolutely lovely. I couldn't even pronounce it. <laughs> when it first came, when I first got it. Right, where I put you, I put you here. Oh, say hello to the girl, I brought her up. Cause it's a fun day to day. Sort of work, dear. Look at that, man. Oh, it didn't have hurt. Hello, dears. 
Hello, lassie. Mm. <laughs> Just settle down now, that's what I want in a garden. So yes, I'm going to plant, because I'm always coming over here to water anyways, the pumpkin, the squash. So this will be a good idea. Where will I put you? Put you here. I might edit that little bit out. <laughs> Right, mine I still love this mat, so handy. I watered them last night, so they're still nice and, nice and wet there. But I'll give them a water when I come in, when I finish. Good. Yeah, it's probably gone to seed as well, you know what I mean? Um, I was picking a bit of that. That would chop up. To be honest, hello, lass. Hello, hello. Um, what are you doing? I know. Look at that leaving roots in. Roots in. That's what I. That's what you do. There's not even a, a sign of a. Little gem, 14th of May it says on that thing there, but... Nice. Oh, oh that soil's lovely, to be honest, as well. So I think there's something, oh, there's three in one. Oh, little bit. Root bound actually. Oh. oh, this might be actually. Tell you what, I'll leave that one for the time being. Man, these are. I'm just going to break that root up a little bit. Just getting these maybe a little bit earlier. Should be all right, but. Oh, me <laughs> knee. Nice with no parsnips this year, but no parsnips, no peas. There's the thing, tell us what you, you're not growing, so I'm... Eh? How's a chicken? <laughs> That's not... I swear to God, I... How's a chicken egg in the bloody... Is someone playing it? <laughs> That means it's been in when I put the compost on. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> put that in. <laughs> oh, it's got to have been put in. That's just freaked us out a little bit. That. <laughs> just give this bloody egg a wash. <laughs> got me. Someone's obviously. Canada man, that kind of lasted like you know what I mean. Just <laughs> see, there's no date on it. There's nothing like if that, if I find more, then <laughs> someone's someone's bloody. And that kind of lasted from the house compost all the way then into here. We'll get them beans done and I think I'll just put them against that fence. I've just came into the polytunnel. Mind you, since I've done that little spruce up on the tomatoes, they're just looking a lot nicer and a lot healthier 
Which means it does them the world of good. You can start to see all the fruit coming off the these ones as well. So the idea is, I think I'm going to just. I got two lots. To be honest, I've got quite a few. So take these. These are Blue Lake White Seeded, and maybe just run them. Up, oh, up. Oh, I'm getting stuck on the bloody. And me netting is up there for the, but there's too much going on in that bed. I mean, there's too much going on in this bed, but they might take off. And I'm coming up here with water. So, I'll tell you what, I'll put you here. And we'll just run along. Again, some of these have got two in, but I'm just going to, I'll start here in the middle. Actually, I don't even need this, I don't think. These are lovely and moist. Hopefully they'll just go up then keep out of the way of everything else. I did it last year and it was all right. I know, Lassie, I know. Again, I'll give them another good old soak. Well, I'll give this bed a whole good soak. Blue Lake, these are. I mentioned that already, but I'm just reminding myself. Blue Lake, let's put them there. There you go. That's getting a well stocked bed there now. I'm hoping the onions will be all right, you know what I mean? Because I don't like to crowd them too much, but what I'm going to do now is, like you see, we're just playing me and Dee as well. I'm going to get some, I can't get over that pig and egg. I'm going to get some strawberries for the house. Reed and his girlfriend are up from Bristol and they had some of my strawberries, we all had strawberries and cream yesterday. Lovely. Right. They're still coming, mind you. We're not I'm saying the season's just starting, but this this kind of particular batch is well and truly throwing out its fruit at the moment. Right, get the camera right first to it. I wonder why I've never grew strawberries before because they seem to be like I can grow them. <laughs> it's one of the veg I can grow, a fruit I can grow. Look at them, perfect strawberry. Mind you, you don't have to miss them when you're picking them. Just keep on going over and over the. Your bed there, look at it. Actually, I could have picked that last time. There we go. That's like the second second bag that size within two days. Bloody hell. Anyway, look after yourselves. Take good care.